So as I was getting dressed this morning, which by the way, I'm wearing a t-shirt for I think the first time this year, and I'm also wearing capris and some sandals. I've wore sandals already. <laughs> I've bit the bullet and been cold, but not capris yet. So anyway, even though my kids, you know, you guys have seen them, they've been wearing sandals and uh, or flip-flops and shorts forever. However, here we go. What I was gonna say to you guys is that this morning I was getting dressed and I was like, I think I should vlog today, but where's the day gonna go? Let's see, we're, we have violin. I have to drop Sam off at a neighboring cranberry marsh because he's gonna be helping them plant. Um, I have some paperwork to do. <laughs> so I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, maybe I won't vlog today. Not really a whole lot going on. And then I thought, wait a minute, Emily's coming over. We are gonna be putting together um, I think we counted up about 13. So we have plans to put together about 13 freezer meals. And uh, so that's what's gonna happen. I think she's gonna be here about 11 o'clock. So we have violin, drop Sam off, get back home, get some stuff out, and then we are gonna be cooking. So if that sounds like something you guys wanna watch, stick around, because this is gonna be pretty much all cooking today. But first, I need to go and get myself ready. I only have about 15 minutes, so I gotta brush my teeth, comb my hair, do all the good stuff. Okay, I feel like at my age, I have filled out enough of those like tax papers, you know, the W-4s and now they change it to WT-4 or something. Anyway, I feel like that should be just so easy to do, but every time I end up having to read all the fine print. So Sam and I got that taken care of. Do we have those papers now? Yeah, I have them right here. Okay, good. Whew. Mom, are we gonna drop my letter off at a post office? Not yet. We'll do your letter a little bit later, okay, when we get back home. Peter wrote a letter to his cousin, and then Joe, we think, might have stole it for a little while, and now we have it back. So now we have to get that, excuse me, we have to get that in. Okay, so Sam's gonna drive, correct? Are you driving? Yes. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Chew toy. It's from Nature Cat. How from Nature Cat and Chew and see it's house Chew Toy and they lost it in the ocean. Oh. So if you are new here, uh, I realize that there's a few things maybe I didn't explain real well in the beginning here of the, the video. So we do have seven kids. Two of them are off on their own with jobs, with apartments, that kind of thing. And our daughter is married and she is gonna be having a baby here in just about three weeks or so. Um, at least that's her due date. And so that's why she's coming over today to uh, help with making freezer meals because what we're gonna do is make a bunch of freezer meals so that when the baby comes, they're ready to go with food. I'll get it. And then I also put up a video yesterday, I think it's titled Emotional Week in a Country Life or something like that. And um, I realized that for us, as I'm filming, <laughs> everything is clear because we're living it. But for you guys, there are things that I oftentimes forget. So if scatterbrained mom is your thing, then you're gonna wanna subscribe here. But let's go back and talk about the horses. So we've had two horses. Pearl has always been Emily's horse and Rhythm is Amber's horse. And they were very much into horses and barrel racing and showing at the fair and just all things horses, trail riding, all of that. Well, as the girls have aged and Emily obviously starting her own family now, um, uh, you know, she just does not have time for the horse right now uh, for Pearl and Amber. Okay, you got it? Okay. <laughs> and then Amber, uh, she has already started college this semester and she's going to be um, uh, taking some summer classes as well and then college next year. And so for her, her life is just taking a little bit different path right now as well. And so it was time to rehome Rhythm as well. So both Pearl and Rhythm were sold. Um, they both we found or the, I didn't have anything to do with this but the girls found great buyers for both of the horses we can leave that open that's what went down with the horses I know I had a number of comments with people um, maybe being confused if both horses were going and I think I just didn't explain it very well because quite honestly it was a little bit emotional for me I am allergic to horses horses have not been my thing I don't I have no desire to ride horses and that kind of thing <laughs> That's a country road for you. Um, what? Bad roads. Yeah. <laughs> but even even so, 
Um, like I said, you know, even so I'm not a horse person, it still was a sad wow. moment. Just more, more because I know it was um, a big step for the girls. And then also it just kind of like marks the end of an era uh, for our family as well. So anyway, that was one thing. Another thing that was in that video, whoops, seatbelt, I see that. <laughs> and then another thing in that video was Sam's face. <laughs> I had a number of people ask about his face. They were assuming that it might have been some sort of dirt bike accident or something, which gosh, no, it should not be because he always wears his helmet when he's on that. But um, what actually had happened, he was on the patio. Well, he's here. Do you want to tell? You guys have to whisper back there. You're being too loud. Do you want to tell? Okay, so he was on the patio and we have one of those little kid big wheels. Well, we don't have it anymore, but um, you guys know the thing. You sit real low to the ground. It's got the handlebars, one tire up front, one in the two in the back. Anyway, he was standing on it with one foot and he was gonna push off with the other one to kind of make himself go because, you know, you get to a certain age and you're too big for to sit on a big wheel. Um, and apparently too big to even be on the big wheel because when he pushed off just one push yeah just one push the whole front tire and handlebars the whole thing it like snapped in half and of course he all just went five, nine of me went <laughs> all face, what all five nine of me went face planting into concrete yeah and then slid like 12 feet oh, oh, 12 idea. feet <laughs> That's a long way to slide. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, that was a, a face plant into the concrete. So that's how that all happened. And he is quite healed. Let me, s let me see if I can show his face. He's very much healed up except for the chin. And then we did discover that he actually chipped a tooth or cracked a tooth. Uh, it, it's like when you spider a window like the glass that's mm -hmm. what happened to the bottom of my tooth yeah so I have to call the dentist and figure out if they can repair that now or if you just wait for the whole thing to chip out I don't know I don't but know when it does if it does chip out it's gonna be a big chunk yeah it is gonna be a big like chunk. half my okay. tooth so okay Joe's raising his hand he wants to tell us something violin is all done and we took a walk while well, Sam was in violence. So we walked for, I don't know, it was probably 25 minutes by the time we started in and we did about 2,700 steps. I don't typically log my steps, but I just, um, I mean like this is the first time I've ever logged my steps. <laughs> I just, I said to Sam, do you think my phone would calculate how many steps I take? And he's like, yeah, go to the health section. So that's what I did and so that's what that's what it came out as, about 2,700 steps. So, all right, Sam's all changed, and I'm gonna drop him off at work for I'm the gonna day. I'm gonna drop myself off at Well, work. actually, yeah, you're gonna drop yourself off at work. And then we're gonna go home, and by that time, Emily should be getting really close to our place, and we're gonna start cooking. Okay, so we're home now, and and I, whoop, well, this isn't what we're doing, that's just what we're snacking on. But I've just been collecting everything, grabbing it all out of the pantry and the refrigerator for all, um, so we have it all here. And then we're just gonna work on cooking at the counter and at the table probably, putting together all of the meals. So that's what we've got going. I've got Emily here already, she showed up. And the first, the first thing we have here is a, um, a bag of chicken leg yes. quarters. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put as many as I can into my Instant Pot, and we're gonna start getting these cooked down. And then Emily actually brought the ground beef, so she has the ground beef over here, and I'm gonna have her start um, cooking that up. put all of these uh, recipes in the description box below or link to them wherever it is I whatever works best for each recipe so the first one that Emily's going to put together here is the grilled sesame chicken um, so into here she's going to put in let's just look here so she's going to put a mixture of oil white grape juice soy sauce chopped green onions I'll chop those okay uh, sesame seeds ground mustard ground ginger 
pepper, some garlic, and then the chicken breasts. So for her and Sparky, they put, we did three chicken breasts into this um, bag, and this is the one that she's gonna freeze and then thaw, you know, after the baby comes. And since there were two left over, this is what they're gonna make for supper tonight. So we're just gonna make up the marinade, pour most of it over these three, and then some more over those two. Yummy. I really like this. It's really good. We've done it where once we grill it, then we just mm -hmm. kind of serve it with a salad. Mm. And like I like to slice it. You know, can you kind of yeah. slice the chicken and put it on the salad? I think that's a good. It's a good idea with salad. Or just with rice. I was gonna say because I was it's in my head. I'm like, oh, I'll probably make some rice with this. It's great with like rice or whatever. Mm. I just think it's a good. Okay, so the majority will go over this. Sure. Can you grab me a spatula? No. Do you know what a spatula is? You know what a spatula is. Get, get Emily a spatula. One of those little flippy things. You're too busy with the carrots. No. Thank you. Culver's. Pardon me? Culver's. I don't think we're going to have Culver's today. <laughs> Sorry. Peter joined us in the kitchen too. He's like, if other people are cooking, I'm going to cook, right? What are you making? Mm -hmm. I want to encourage all you moms out there who are trying to get your kids to help out or do things in the kitchen. Sometimes all it takes is just writing down one recipe for them so that they kind of have their own little recipe card and then just let them have at it. The first time you made chocolate chip cookies all by yourself, how did they turn out? Well, they turned out kind of crunchy. Kind of crunchy. How about the second time you made them all by yourself? They turned out good. They were pretty good, weren't they? How about the third time? They were even better. They were better. And then the last time you made them, there. we sent some to Grandma. Grandma said they were the best cookies ever. Hey. And now, today, I he's making them again. what this is. Baking soda? That yeah. is in that little box. Okay. Is it here? Yep, yeah, that's baking soda. Then I should probably go set those out in the fridge. Yes. So here's what we got. One... One meal down. This looks really good. Mm hmm Okay, so the pregnant lady, <laughs> she's getting hot. <laughs> she's like, we need to open a window in this house. <laughs> I was gonna say, the breeze, I can just feel it right now. It's really nice. <laughs> the breeze is really, really nice. It's such a glorious one. day today. What? <laughs> Let me show you guys outside. Look at it. It's just sunny and slightly breezy. So, so beautiful. Okay, things are coming along nicely for us too. We're just um, bringing the spaghetti sauce and everything to a simmer. It's actually marinara sauce to a simmer for the lasagna. We have the rice going back here for the beef aladas. These are all recipes that you guys have probably seen me make. The beef aladas we've been making for years and years. I actually think... Didn't Nick call them? I think you called them beef aladas. Or you think Nick called them beef aladas? I thought Nick called them beef aladas, but maybe I called them. Yeah, them. I don't know. Somebody I just, called them. Somebody did. I just know that one time, years and years ago, I had made actual enchiladas with the real drippy sauce over the top, and mm -hmm. nobody liked that. <laughs> and so somehow, I don't, I don't really know how I came up with the idea. Maybe it was because I liked, I still like that flavor of enchiladas. And I thought, I need to figure out a way to make this that my family will eat it. Well, they all like flour tortillas, and they all like hamburger, and they all like the enchilada sauce, just not all dripping. And then I fill them up with rice. You guys will see what we do. And then we just roll them up, put a little cheese over the top, and some black olives, and they're good to go. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So next up, focus. All right. So next up, we are going to start working on the tater tot casserole. Uh, the meat is cooked. That's perfect. Okay. So let's get oh, out like a bowl. So we'll get out a bowl of some sort and open up the cream of chicken soup and the mixed veggies and get that going. I just thought the, the smoke alarm was going off and it was actually the Instant Pot. Okay, so that must mean that it's done. And now it says it's keeping warm. We're just going to let this naturally release. And um, hopefully all that chicken is done because that was a lot of chicken in there. Ready to go? Three pans mm -hmm. of cookies. Mm -hmm. got How many? Three pans of cookies. Yes, Peter. More, more Peter like, has made lots more of cookies. Like two and a half, because pretty much a ton of people eat some. We have been eating a few, haven't we? They do look delicious. We're gonna have to be sure we save some of those so Dad and this Sam get some after work, right? <laughs> I just say to save them, and he's like, mm, I'm gonna eat one more. <laughs> Okay, now we just have to divide that four ways. Okay. So. Go Too much The beef is here are done. We did five in each pan. That was about a pound of the ground beef. And then I made one cup of rice, which makes a lot of rice. Um, we didn't use all of it. And then we didn't use quite the whole thing of the enchilada sauce. I guess if I had more tortillas, I probably would have just added all of that in because this yeah, isn't really much of a recipe. It's just kind of, you just keep mixing until it looks about like what you want. So we're just going to, um, what are we going to do now? Saran wrap it? Yeah. So we've been saran wrapping it with one layer and then foiling everything. So that's how it's been going. Yeah. Emily's been labeling everything first yeah. with the directions. You know, you want to be sure to do that because even though you think, oh, I'll remember what's in here. Uh-uh. When it's two months later, you forget. It just happens. <laughs> okay, I did not get any footage of Emily and I putting this together, but these are just cheesy hash browns. Again, it's a recipe I've made on my channel before. It starts with a frozen bag of those um, hash brown cubes. We mix in, what did we put in here? Cream of chicken soup, some mm -hmm. onion, salt and pepper, sour cream, sour cream and cheese, mm -hmm. and some melted butter. And then on top, we just did some um, buttered cornflakes, crushed cornflakes. We put that on the top. And then in this one over here, she wanted to make one that was not quite like a side dish, but more of an actual main dish. And so we chopped up some ham, and we put ham into this one. And yeah, that's that. So we're just moving right along.
So originally I set the chicken, I just used the poultry button here. That wasn't quite long enough. And so once that, uh, you know, once I opened up the pressure cooker, I was like, mm, it needs to go longer. So then I did manual. So I just did pressure cook manual all the way to high pressure. And I did it for, did we do 15 or 20? Uh, 15. Okay. And then I did 15 minutes on high pressure. And now the chicken is perfect and it's just falling off the bone. I actually needed to get a spoon to scoop everything out. As soon as it, as soon as it is just cool enough, then we're going to start pulling this meat off the bone because it's going to be time to start making the chicken recipes. So we're going to do a chicken tater tot casserole. That's actually brand new to both of us. Um, it's a recipe that I've seen on J. Merle Stewart's uh, large family table channel. And I kind of always had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to try it, just never did. But we said, let's give that a try. And then we're not gonna be doing the chicken and stuffing recipes or um, meals because Emily was gonna call a lady to get the recipe for it. Um, and I don't think that happened yet. And then we did that. We have to put together the honey picante burritos, which is made with um, cooked turkey. And then we're gonna put together two chicken pot pies, which is gonna be really easy because today we're just using the refrigerator pie crusts. So that is what we have going next. And then at some point we're gonna go sit down on the patio. <laughs> we're making uh, honey picante burritos. This is a recipe I have not made in years and years and years, um, but it's really, really good. And I just kind of forget about it. So what we're gonna do is in here, I'm gonna put some medium. I actually got the mild picante sauce because Emily's husband doesn't like spicy food. But um, so I got the mild picante sauce and we're gonna put honey in here and brown mustard, Worcestershire sauce, minced garlic, cumin, and then Emily is dicing up turkey over here. And all you have to do is bring this to a simmer and then serve it in like tortillas with a little bit of um, sour cream or a little cheese. They're so, so good. So now we decided we're gonna take a little break, have some lunch. I have some tortilla beef bake left from the other night and I actually have chips now. I'm not sure if that happened to uh, get onto the video, but the night that I actually had earmarked to make that casserole, which was in like a ground beef recipe or ground venison. It's actually venison, a ground venison video that I did. I specifically saved tortilla chips to put onto the top of the casserole when, when it's uh, baking. And that day for lunch, the kids were like, do we have any chips? I'm like, yeah, we have a half a bag of tortilla chips. And so they went and ate them. And then three hours later, when it was time to get ready for supper, I was like, oh, that's why I was saving those. So we ended up not having it with the chips that night, but now I have chips. So Emily and I get to have it with chips, which is gonna be really good. And we're still letting the chicken cool. And we got the uh, honey picante burritos um, put together. That's so easy. It's just gonna end up simmering on the stove when she pulls it out of the freezer. And there was enough turkey in that little container, the little package that I bought to do two batches of that. So I made one for myself as well. So I think Amber's gonna really like that tomorrow for lunch. So we'll do that. And yeah, we're just gonna go sit on the patio now. Peter. Okay, so the chicken 
pot pies are done, uh, rather than putting them in a pie plate because it seemed like we made a little too much of the um, uh, filling, we just tucked them into these and we decided we think it's going to, we think it'll cook up just fine. It might be a little, uh, you know, might be a little juicy, but that's okay. These have nice and high sides, so that's good. A little bit more. And Emily was just commenting about that this is her favorite meal <laughs> of all time. Yes, <laughs> always, always her birthday meal. So if I'm not mistaken, looking at our very, very messy, a third towel over there. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'll get one. Just hold on. But looking at this, I think the only thing we have left to do are the chicken tater tot casseroles. We were going to do two of them. I don't know if we have enough tater tots though, so we may only end up doing one. Since this is a brand new recipe here on my channel, I'm going to walk you guys through this a little bit. So in here I put one can of cream of chicken soup, and then I put in about a half a cup of sour cream, and then it looks like you know what, I don't know how much cheese, that much. That's how much cheese I put in there. <laughs> Maybe a cup that might be. And I'm then we're gonna it. drain. I'm not sure. So these two are working at getting the lid off the mixed okay, vegetables. Now put it on. Then we're gonna drain like that. This. We're gonna put all those mixed squeeze. vegetables into here. And you got it, squeeze. Here is all of I'm our turning. chicken. And we're mm -hmm. gonna put probably, turning. Probably three good size. Sure, keep squeezing. You know, we'll like pinch it like this. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna put three good size amounts of chicken into this. Emily sprayed the pan. We'll put it in there, and then we're gonna top it with the tater tots that we have uh, left from making the got it regular tater tot casserole. You're like halfway done. So it's very very similar to regular tater tot casserole. I guess it has the cheese in it. And I've had a number of you guys mention to me that you put cheese in your um, like One more turn. There beef we go. Stop. tater right. tot casserole. And that's not something that, right. that I've ever done, but we're gonna do that with the and chicken. Now we'll go drain these. Emily and I both agree that this looks really, really good. As soon as those tater tots go on, we're done. Look at that. <laughs> Basically done. So exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get this one labeled, packaged up. Nice. All right, so we moved on to a little different part of our day now. I actually took Joseph and Maria swimming. <laughs> I can't believe that they think it's warm enough today to do that. Maria did my hair while we were down there, so that's why I look a little bit different, right? Isn't it pretty? I love it my braid. Down there. Oh, you thought it looked better down there? Yeah, it's pretty I'm windy. Get huh? Everybody's. Yeah, I like a... Hang on a second. I'm the... I'm the... <laughs> And now we're just getting ready for supper. So Peter just has to wash his hands. And what we're doing tonight, just really, really fast. I made, I did this microwave uh, broccoli. Warren whipped up some instant mashed potatoes. And then this is uh, the beef from those beef soup bones. And I just made a quick gravy here and seasoned this up with like some garlic powder and onion powder and stuff. And we're just gonna serve that over top of the mashed potatoes. Little kids have bananas. And we're good. Um, right? All right, Joe, sit down. You just go. Okay. Sit down, buddy. Come on, Peter. We're waiting. Maria, we're waiting. So we got everything all cleaned up from supper. Hi, Maria. And I'm just using my fat separator and the like all of the chicken juice, you know, all of like the chicken stock and fat and everything from cooking up that 10 pounds of chicken. Um, light quarters earlier today. I didn't want to put all of that into the garbage or out to Eska, so we're just separating it. We are gonna give this fat to Eska. I don't know, whatever. We like to give our dog scraps and she loves it too. And then uh, this I'm just saving. I'm gonna be making probably some chicken, um, uh, what is it called? I'm gonna be making some fried, 
some fried rice. I'm going to be making some chicken fried rice um, probably within the next few days. And so I thought this would be excellent, excellent uh, to add to that when I have to add a little bit of broth to it. So that's what I'm doing, just working on this fat separator um, was sent by one of you. And so I really appreciate that. It was uh, such a treat to get that. I don't know what else. It's 716 already, so I don't really know what else we have that's going to be happening. And with that little bit of music, we are going to say goodnight for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, Sam is thoroughly enjoying the patio. I love listening to you play out there. I love it. We've got the kitchen window open. We can hear you. It's great. Yeah. There's really too many bugs right now. Well, there are some bugs, that's for sure.